Hi, thanks for taking the time to watch this short video. Our reason for making these videos is to help members avoid potential prosecution for electrical non-compliances through education. This episode focuses on section two of the wiring rules, general arrangement, control and protection. Western Power has given Nika Technical important statistics to show the most common types of inspectors orders that were issued in 2015 in relation to Section 2 of the wiring rules. The pink section of this graph from Western Power shows that the majority of Section 2 defects are due to non-compliant switchboards. Western Power have informed us that the main issues are incorrect labelling and no fire sealing of switchboards and we have some simple solutions to help you stay compliant. Nika WA offers this sticker to members for free. It meets the wiring rules requirements by clearly displaying the circuit legend. It has a space to write the date of energization and a section to draw a map that shows the location of the consumer mains. The second issue is a lack of fire sealing on switchboards. You need to use a fire retardant sealant when cables pass through the glands of a switchboard and the gap is greater than 5mm. A simple solution for this is to tear off a piece of roof insulation, for example from a pink bat in the roof space. It meets the requirements as it is a fire retardant material and it can also be removed when additional final sub-circuits may be added to the switchboard where it passes through the gland. Our next video will focus on Western Power's findings on the most common non-compliances relating to Section 3 of the wiring rules. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.